y'all. Welcome back to Variety Conversation. I am Lady Walker. So, here's an update on the Vanessa Bryan and her mother, Sophia Lang, split up. And it is from Vanessa. Bear in mind that Sophia said that Vanessa told her to get out of her house and give her car back. I don't have any idea what kind of car it was. Nevertheless, I am pretty sure that Vanessa had a ram in the bush for her mother, Sophia, such as another place to stay and a car, which may not be all luxury as the one she wanted back. Long as the car is drivable and has the wherewithal to get me from point A to point B, I'll be somewhat satisfied, even if my daughter is rolling high in the millions. Anyway, Vanessa has released a written statement concerning her mother's wild allegations to Univision to show where her mother's interview was conducted. Remember, I said in my first writing of this situation that there are two and three sizes to every story, yours, mine, and the truth in between. Well, here's Vanessa's side of the story. Vanessa stated, my husband and daughter passed away unexpectedly, and yet my mother had the audacity to do a television interview speaking negatively of me while shedding tears for a car and a house that were not in her name. She has removed all of her diamond jewelry, emptied the apartment I provided, and put away the furniture to make it look like she doesn't have my support. Oh, my word, Sophia, say it ain't so. If it is so, you know that is conniving and it's going to drive a wedge between you and Vanessa, probably indefinitely. Vanessa goes on to say, my husband and I have supported her financially for the past 20 years. Oh, my word, for the past 20 years and continue to do so in addition to her monthly alimony. Oh, wow, Sophia, you get monthly alimony? How about that for a wait a minute, Sophia, Sophia, Sophia? Baby, don't let your greed get the best of you. You are stopping your cash flow. Contrary to previous report, she has not been physically present or emotionally supportive of my daughters and me after my husband and daughter passed away. Now, I see what is most important to my mother and is more than painful. I hope that everything that is coming out about our personal relationship ends here. This interview has probably made it worse for Vanessa and her mother. Greed always has a price not worth the purchasing. But it seems as though Sophia grew accustomed to a lifestyle that she has no interest in departing from. Vanessa and Colby supported Sophia for the last 20 years. I almost want to say, get out of here. (laughs) Other sources painted a pretty picture of Vanessa and her mother's relationship on how Sophia was a support system for Vanessa and the girls. But now Vanessa says otherwise. By golly, Miss Mala, ain't that a crooked eyed doozy? Sophia. Before ever doing the interview, what did Vanessa do or not do that upset you so much that you felt compelled to go do an interview and share it with the world, so to speak? I got to tell you like the TIS, a.k.a. the TIS, if my daughter buys me a car or a house, I want it in my name. Bottom line, there is no need for my daughter to have it in her name, okay? Just saying. At this point in time, I still haven't seen Sophia's interview. From my understanding, the interview is in Spanish, and the only words I know in Spanish are the numbers 1 to 10. Gracias, buenos dias, buenas noches, muy bien, que hora es, you know, something like that, and a few more words, which is nothing to brag about and write home about. I am pretty sure I will come across the interpretation of it sometime. So much for this conversation has been real and feel free to express your perspective on the topic at hand. And in the meantime, y'all come back to visit me when you can. Okie doke. Ta-ta.